Okay, one of the really common looping structures uh, is the four structure. And what that does is it takes a, a starting number, an ending number, and an increment to, uh, um, to go through those numbers with. Um, so what this does is it starts on a counter number, or it, it, st it defines this, uh, uh, this variable counter. It makes that first number 1, and it goes up to 10, and it goes in increments of 1. And it's going to, while I'm doing that, going through that loop, it's going to print that variable name that we've given that, that those numbers. So, put it in here, and it will count from 1 to 10. Now, Rebel is fantastic, like in other situations, it's fantastic at dealing with different types of data, automatically understands a lot of different types of data. Um, so you can count, for example, through times. This is going to count, and we're going to go to variable timer. Um, from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock in, in intervals of 5 seconds. Um, and then uh, you can also count through money. It will automatically understand that these are money values since we're using dollar signs. And we've assigned each of those increments to a value which we're calling, or a variable which we're calling dimes, a word which we're calling dimes. So it's going to count from zero to a dollar uh, in increments of 10 cents. Through dates. Um, and that was in increments of eight days. Again, the word doesn't have anything to do with uh, uh, how Rebel works. It automatically knows that these are dates because it's a piece of data in a date format, in a given Rebel date format. We could have called this builds up and then use the word print builds up and it would have uh, uh, it would have worked the same it doesn't ha doesn't matter what variable name we use as long as uh, we know what we're dealing with um, you can also count backwards if we make the increment minus one it'll count backwards it's going to count backwards from 10 to 1 um, and you can do that in increments too um, this is going from 10 to 1 but we could count from 100 back to uh, or from 10 to 100 in increments of 10s. That's going to count from uh, 10 to 100. And we can also do um, increments of less than 1. Um, this is going to count from 1 to 5 in increments of uh, 1 to 5. to be aware of in this last uh, last example. Um, instead of print, this uh, has the function print. Uh, the only difference between print and print is that print automatically goes to a new line every time it prints something. Print prints things right next to each other. So this is going to print the letters from A to Z, the, this little character symbol, the pound sign means the characters. Um, in steps of one, so it's going to step through the alphabet. It's going to put them all right next to each other. Okay. Um, here's another example um, that uh, is going to read current directory. Uh, again, we're going to print percent symbol means uh, the the file system. And this is the current directory dot. So we assign that a, uh, a variable, the word files, that reads those current files that are in the directory. Now we're going to loop through um, using variable count to represent each item as we loop uh, from 1 to 5, stepping 1. And what we're going to do, can we use to see this word compose? In this loop, we're going to print each of the items in files and using the compose word it substitutes 
the count in parentheses. Anything that's in parentheses gets substituted uh, for a variable. So this is going to print file number one, file number two, file number three, file four. That block, it's going to read through it, and each time it goes through this loop, it's going to print one of those items. So now we put that in the rebel and prints each of the items, each of the first five items that are in that directory.